Prophet Islam had a sister called Miriam, in Arabic Maryam, really Mary, say. Jesus had a mother called Mary, in Arabic Maryam, in Hebrew Miriam, say. But your Prophet didn't know the difference between this Maryam and that Maryam. Ukhta Harun, sister of Harun, and Harun lived some 1,300 years before Jesus. That Maryam lived 1,300 years before this Maryam, and your prophet is confused. He didn't know the difference between this Maryam and that Maryam. He's ignorant. <laughs> That's the charge. That's the charge. What's the explanation? So we say, look, no, this is a respectful way of putting that, look, your father was a good man. You come from such a noble family of the prophets of the Bani Israel. You descended from there, and now how can you bring this child without a husband? And the Muslim will accept. What I'm telling you, you'll accept. I said, who is not? You come from such a noble family of the prophets of Bani Israel. Your father was a good man. Your mother was a good woman. And how do you bring this bastard child? That's the charge. So I said, that they're trying to say you come from a noble ancestry, noble family, prophetic family. You all accept. But the Christian says, no, 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 no. Your prophet didn't know the difference. Because he doesn't want to listen to your reason, to your logic. Your prophet didn't know the difference. He was ignorant. How do you answer that? So now the thing is thrown at me. I says, very easy. You know, the answer to your problem is in your book. I say, it's in your book. Where? As the first book of the New Testament. Gospel of St. Matthew. First book. Chapter 1, verse 1. Can you forget that? 1, 1, 1. You know, when you have three aces in a game of cards, you are a sure winner. Book 1, chapter 1, verse 1. Is the answer is there to your problem, is there? So what does it say? It says, this is the genealogy of Jesus Christ. That's what it says. I'm reading it. To him, to the Christian. This is the genealogy, the ancestry of Jesus Christ. The son of Abraham. The son of David. Right? It's right. I'm reading correctly. He said, yes. The son of Abraham, the son of David. Right? It's right. In the Gospel of St. Mark, he's described as the son of God. Right? It's right. In the Gospel of St. Luke, he's described as the son of Joseph. Right? He said, right. He's the son of Abraham, and Abraham is his father. He's the son of David, and David is his father. He is the son of God, that God is his father. The son of Joseph, Joseph is his father. A guy who's got four fathers, what do you call him in your language? Your st <laughs> hmm? No, what do you call him in your street language? What do you call that guy who's got four fathers? <laughs> he said, no, 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 it doesn't mean that. I said, then what does it mean? I'm telling you, I know it doesn't mean that. But your book says he's the son of Abraham. Abraham is his father. Son of David, David is his father. Joseph the carpenter is his father. And God is his father. He's got four fathers. You're Jesus. Four fathers. What do you call him? <laughs> no. So, my dear brothers and sisters, you see, if you are working, if you are trying to do a certain job of work, all knowledge is filled up unto you. Our Nabi Karim, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he gave us the secret of knowledge. He said, Balligo anni walau aya. Deliver the message regarding me, even if it is one verse. Is there one thing you know about Islam? Share it. Is there not a single thing that you know about Islam? Not one thing you can talk about Islam? Then you better get lost. You are dead wood on the house of the ship of Islam. We are carrying you dead wood. You don't know one thing you can talk about Islam? Something, one thing, man, about your hygiene? Huh? I understand that our Khalid Balala, you know, he made some remarks about the president, you know, that he doesn't wash his backside, and how can he be the president? <laughs> Look, one thing, man, one thing, you know. Don't you know your hygiene? We are the most hygienic people with all our poverty. We are the most hygienic people. We are the most hospitable people. Wallah, we are. Talk about it, man. Talk about something that you know about Islam. Huh? If you don't know about theology, about psychology, about philosophy, you're not Hafiz al-Quran, don't worry. Do you know one thing about Islam? Any one thing you can talk? man open your mouth as soon as you start talking about one thing that one thing again and again Allah adds more this is how knowledge increases this is how I got my knowledge you know I didn't go to university to learn the Bible Darul Ulum to learn Islam no nothing just doing talking 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 
and problems, problems, and the problem is created and I get the solution. Problem is created, so my knowledge increases. Same thing, secret with you. Our Nabi said, Balliqa anni wa aya. Deliver the message regarding me, even if it is one verse. Go to town, my dear brothers and sisters, you know, something that you know to us, learn to talk, and as soon as the guy poses a problem for you, you'll be looking for the answer. And when the answer comes, you'll be able to retain it. Like this, I can keep on throwing things at you. Facts, facts, facts. This is more in mere entertainment. You, you go home and it's forgotten. I said, Mr. Dizat gave a fantastic lecture. What did you say? Because <laughs> we don't know what it's <laughs> No, no. Just one thing, pick it up and go to town. The Christian, he hasn't got a leg to stand upon. Adam and Eve eat the apple and we all go to hell for that. And that guy is getting converts and we are not getting converts with the Quran. Simply because we are not talking. Jazakallah for this opportunity. Wa akhiru dawana. Alhamdulillah.